If you guys are looking for any cheap reliable FIFA 19 coins, head over to u7buy.com and you can basically buy coins or you can buy players. So if you wanted Team Day Ronaldo or Team Day Messi, you can literally order them off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ for 5% off. Top line of the description. Yes, lads, so I just want to quickly address something about my PC. I've mentioned it a few times in the past few videos, but I've been having quite a few issues with my PC. So I've recently just sold the PC that I currently owned. It wasn't the best PC. I needed need an upgrade. I don't know if you could tell, but on the quality of a lot of my FIFA videos and even my streams when I streamed back in the day, they weren't the best. So I wanted to get an upgrade on my PC. Um, so I'm currently looking to buy a new PC. I think I'm going to get a second-hand one because... PCs if you want even a semi-decent one over a grand easily so um, I'm trying to start out a new PC I was hoping to buy a new one last night and uh, turns out I'm not I don't think I can get one till the 21st of September so I don't even know if I could stream I would have streamed the FIFA 20 demo and uh, yeah I can't so it's kind of annoying because I was trying to I need to get my money from uh, my bank account to PayPal and it takes 11 days it's a transfer like quite a bit of money so I'm guessing that's why it takes so long but I want to quickly address that so I really hope to stream the uh, the early access, but I don't know if I can. So it's so annoying to be honest. I'm having to use my brother's 200 quid PC. So apologies about the um, about the quality of this. But um, anyway, today we've got an OP squad builder. Anyway, for silvers, um, I was scrolling down Twitter and I saw a Saint Juste. I don't know if you guys have seen the centre back. It's the guy that's on my thumbnail, an 80, 82 pace or 83 pace centre back from the Dutch league and he looked insane and he got me thinking um, FIFA have currently they've, they've released every rating basically so I looked on the Foothead if you look on Foothead I'll leave a link in the description if you want me to to show you all the ratings and stuff so I was looking for all silvers and I thought you know what we'll do a, we'll do a silver squad builder so jumping into the goalkeeper boys this is a bit of a hybrid I wanted to do a hybrid because one league's kind of boring and this squad is pretty sick there's maybe one position that I don't like but this squad, I actually spent a while on it and um, it's quite hard to build. So, jumping into the goalkeeper anyway, we have got Sketlenburg. Again, apologies for the quality of this, but nothing I can do really. Um, we've got Sketlenburg in goal, the uh, the Everton goalkeeper. Very nice goalkeeper, actually. Uh, you can go with Tim Krull or Sketlenburg. Um, again, you'll, you'll probably have, to, you'll probably have to, uh, to use them to know whether who's better. But this guy looks very well-rounded for, for a silver goalkeeper. Dutch. Everton, so you need a Dutch Premier League goalkeeper. You'll see why in a second. But um, and currently, I'm using all the Andy Carrolls, by the way, just to uh, to cover up the positions, as you probably already know. But um, yeah, Sketlenburg in goal looks pretty decent. 70s in most stats, so I imagine it'll be better than some goal goalkeepers. So anyway, that's the goalkeeper. Jumping into the left back, we have got the Bayer Leverkusen Dutch left back. Again, this was the one position that I weren't a huge fan of but trust me I spent so long I changed formations I changed to like a 4-5-1 which is easier to, to, to like get chem and stuff and uh, I had to end up using this guy for chem but he still looks pretty decent to be fair 79 pace 78 dribble 66 defending 62 physical 74 passing he actually looks all right to be fair and uh, yeah he, he gives us chem but again he looks not too, he doesn't look too bad jumping into the guy that I did so on Twitter I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen him it's called Saint Juste um, he's had a plus one upgrade this year, but he looks very good still. 82 pace is the standout, and then the rest of his stats are quite well rounded. I wonder if he's if he, he might have been a fullback in the past, or like a midfielder, because he's got 72 dribbling for a centre back. He's actually mad. 64 passing is decent as well, and then 73 defending, 75 physical. That is a very nice silver card. That is boys, very very nice. Jumping into the next guy, I've already leaked it because it's on on the thumbnail, but um, I couldn't believe I, I, this upgrade. This guy. As a Chelsea fan, I'm buzzing about this. To be fair, I think he, I think he's at, he was 66 rated at Derby last year. He was a right back as well on FIFA. Um, he's now a centre back. Actually started for Chelsea last week. Didn't do too bad as well, even though look, we let in two goals. Uh, Tomori were at fault. To be fair, but very nice looking card on FIFA. 80 pace, 71 defending, 70, 71 physical, 66 dribbling. Um, that's a very very nice. Very nice silver. You've got two centre backs there that have got very, very good pace. 82 pace and 80 pace. And trust me, boys, I've used, I've played the beta and I've now played the demo. And uh, pace is a big thing, a big thing. But once you're past the player, boom, happy days. Um, so having fast defenders and stuff is is big. So um, yeah, very nice back line right there. So jumping into the right back to finish it off, boys. We have got the rapid. He's actually, I think he's kept the same rating actually, it's the same as last year. We've got um. I was going to say, is it Ryan Fredericks? I don't even know, but I think it's Ryan Fredericks. But we've got Fredericks anyway for West Ham. 74 rated last year, 74 rated this this year. Absolutely rapid. 92 pace, decent dribbling. 
Um, average defending and physical. I'd probably whack a sentinel on him, just get that defending and physical straight up into the 70s. Uh, but he is absolutely wrapping, and uh, he's going to be quite a fun silver to use, to be fair. So there's the the, the defence and goalkeeper. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, I'd have liked maybe a little bit of a better left-back, but the centre-backs, the right-back, the goalkeeper as well, I do like it a lot. Anyway, let's jump into the midfield. So which midfield is it first? Right, we've got... Um, the Premier League right centre mid, we've got Douglas Louise. So I was looking through, there's a lot of different options you can go here. So uh, I wanted more like, this guy's more of a, a bit of a box-to-box -box slash defensive minded. I mean, look at his stats, they're very well rounded to be fair. You could maybe slap a, maybe an engine on him. An engine, an anchor, it depends if you want to play him as a CDM, maybe an anchor as a centre mid, an engine. Um, but this guy looks well, very well rounded, one of the best silver centre mids in the Prem. Um, I can't remember who else there was. There was a few other options. You guys, if you want to put someone else in, then uh, go for it. But I thought Douglas Louise is definitely um, one of one of the best, better ones. So jumping into the next guy, uh, we have got Shoud Shoudery. I think it's called. Uh, I think he's called. I've had to put him at Cam Boys because of Kem. But I know he's not a Cam. He's a CDM. Um, you'll have to change these around in, in game. Whether you whether you stick to a four three three, that's the good thing with this. You can legit do so many different things. You can change formation and stuff like that. Um, but Shoudery. Could play centre mid. He looks very decent. He's a very good player in real life. He probably deserves a gold card, to be fair. But um, he do not like upgrading the players too much. Uh, but this card, as a CDM, or maybe a centre mid as well, looks very nice. 70 pace. You'll probably have to boost his pace. 70 pace is not too bad, but his defending and physicals are sick. And his dribbling's not too bad. Passing... I'd probably, yeah, a million percent an anchor on that, uh, an anchor, I meant engine, engine on that, because uh, pace, dribbling and passing, you need that passing up 100%, 61 passing for us, for like a, a midfielder, you need that up, uh, but there's the two midfielders, you could play Louise and Chaudhry at CDM, um, you could uh, you could play them both at centre mid, it's completely up to you guys, again, you've got so many options to do with this, I'd personally play them both at CDM, um, but yeah, you've got options to do, anyway, jumping into the next player, I'm pretty hyped about this player, boys, um, we have got Saint, is it Saint Maxim? I d is it, no, that's Saint Maximin. I can't remember what Maxim's first name is. But um, anyway, Maxim, I was looking through, you can actually filter out uh, who's got five star skills and stuff as, as a silver. And there was only like t maybe 10 silvers with five star skills and Maxim is one of them. So he looks all right. I mean, his pace is not the best. You're definitely going to have to boost his pace. I'd probably whack a hunter on him, to be fair. He's decent dribbling, pretty decent dribbling, decent passing, but five star skills. And his, ag his agility was, was pretty good as well. So he's going to feel decent. Um, and if you whack up his pace and shooting up into the 70s, that is a very nice card. Very nice card. And five-star skills is the standout thing. And uh, not only that, trust me, boys, this left the left-back and left-centre mid, I was having an absolute nightmare with it because there's not many silver Bundesliga um, that got... I needed a strong link to just there to get him on chem. I was having issues. But Maxim, I'm... Yeah... I think he's going to be decent. Anyway, diving into the front three. Pretty excited to uh, with this front three. I think it's a very decent front three, to be fair. Which position is next? We have got the left wing. So, um, I believe you could go one or... I think he's from Wolfsburg. I'm not too sure if he'll get Ken, but um, there's a decent Wolfsburg left wing, left wing silver as well. Uh, but I went with DR because he gets a strong link to the left back. And this guy looks very decent. 100% boost that shooting. Because uh, his pace is very good, dribbling's decent. What would you put on him? Probably even a hunter, you know. You could go hunter, hundred percent. Maybe even a dead eye. I'd probably go hunter though. Dead eye might be good though, shooting and dribbling as well. But um, the RB looks pretty decent. I don't know. I can't remember what skill moves and weak foot they are on every single player. I only know a few. But uh, the RB looks very good. Obviously, very fast, decent dribbling. Like I said, get the shooting up, and uh, that'll be a very nice card, enjoyable card as well. So. There's our left wing boys. Jumping into the right wing, I believe. This card, I was scrolling through right wing, and I was like, yo, Premier League uh, Premier League right wings. And I saw Hudson Adoy for Ch the Chelsea fan. I was like, it's not a bad card. I think Hudson Adoy is 72 rated. I was going to put Hudson Adoy in, and then I crossed Adama Triore. I didn't actually know he got downgraded, to be fair. Um, and holy, I know, I know he's got 60 shooting. I think he had terrible shooting last fever. I don't know if you guys used him on uh, on last FIFA, but he was actually really good. I used him for months. I didn't really find his shooting that much of an issue, even with it being so low. Um, even if you just, like, he's that fast and he's got decent dribbling and he's physical as well. 
So even if you just don't shoot with him, or if you just shoot the odd, on the odd occasion and just square it every time, just cross it in and stuff, this card will be absolutely sick. So <clears throat> this is one of the silvers that I'm really looking forward to use, to be fair. 96 pace, I believe he's the fastest. He's, he's top three fastest, 100%. I think he might be the fastest on the game. I can't really remember, though. I'm pretty sure 96 pace is the fastest on the game, but I might be wrong. Um, but that card, absolutely unreal. Like... Yeah, million percent dead eye on that million percent shoot get the shooting maxed out and get the dribbling maxed out as well and that card will be absolutely sick to use so there we go boys jumping into the striker you can go a few options with this as well but there's not loads of options to be fair i was expecting there to be more we went with shea adams from uh newly transferred to southampton from birmingham city and uh yeah he's got decent pace it's quite a well-rounded striker to be fair he's got good physical as well 76 physical didn't actually realize that 75 shooting 73 dribbling to be fair if you showed them showed me them stats i'd probably think you know that's probably like a 76 gold card or something like that so his stats actually look better than he, he actually is to be fair and um hopefully he's got a decent skill moves maybe decent weak foot and stuff like that so maybe again you could put a, i'd probably go hunter to be fair boost that pace up and the uh, and the shooting but you could easily go dead eye as well shooting and uh, shooting and dribbling so there's the team boys let me know what you guys think um there's qu quite a lot of other good silvers as well i want to quickly show you my bench i messed up the bench quite a bit boys <laughs> uh, oh god what was that um i messed up the bench quite a bit because it just must this like like i said this pc is awful absolutely awful um uh, but like because like look diaby's already in the team and he's on the bench and also there's no others. But uh, there's Daniel James who looks sick. 94 pace, left mid. Again, couldn't fit him in though. Uh, because he's, yeah, because he wouldn't have fit the hybrid. Uh, Diaby's already in the team. This centre-back from PSV looks pretty sick. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, 76 pace, 70 defending, 78 physical. Actually decent dribbling and passing as well, to be fair, for a centre-back. So that looks like a very good option. Uh, you've got Baluta as well. Was he a gold last year? I had his Europa League card last year anyway, and he looks pretty decent, to be fair. 87 pace, 77 dribble. Um, a, a nice little super sub, or even if you're going to try and fit him in a team. Uh, then you've got De Genepo, recently signed for Southampton. Again, quite a rapid option. Not the best shooting, but that's the thing with Silvers. You're going to get low-end shooting or something like that. So, uh, And then this yo, this league earned striker, you need to keep an eye on him. This Nigerian league earned striker, plays for Lille. He looks very well-rounded for a silver. One of the better strikers on the game, uh, silver-wise. Anyway, 85 pace, 70 dribble, 73 shooting, and a good bit of physical as well. So there's a few um, super subs. And I'd like to show you some other ones, but like like I said, this PC, I was I spent like quite a few, I'd say a good hour, two hours on this, um, like saving all the cards and stuff, because this PC is just horrendous. But um, anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed, please do drop a like. Let me know. If you'd like me to do any other squad builders, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you could drop a like, we'll go 50 likes. Drop a sub if you're new, boys. And yeah, boys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.